I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my series on exploring number patterns. This series is extremely good for junior school students, especially from grade 3 to grade 6. We'll actually create few patterns. Record the number of blocks in each and then correlate them with some kind of formula so that we can predict how many blocks will be there in any given pattern. In short, we'll make a table to record the number of blocks in each pattern. Table could be of this form. We'll use variety of tables. Let us say of this form where we are going to write number. This symbol will be used for number, the pattern number. And in the second column, we'll write number of, uh, in this case, we are going to use square blocks, so number of squares, right? We'll also analyze how the pattern grows and how to predict the number of blocks in seventh and twentieth pattern. So let's begin by just one square block. So in that case, we have our pattern number one. So I'll record this as pattern number one. And how many squares I have? Just one. Correct. So I hope you understand what I've written here. Make a table to record the number of blocks in each pattern. That is the table for me. These are the pattern numbers. And in column two, we'll write down the number of blocks. Part two is to predict the number of blocks in seventh pattern. So what we will do is we'll make few patterns. Let's say this is my second pattern, right? So what I did here is that I added two, right? So, so in moving from first to the second, I added two and it resulted into the second pattern where I have one, two, three blocks. Does it make sense? Now let me add two more, right? So add two more. So if I do that, I get the third pattern. So I'm adding two more. And in the third pattern, I get one, two, three, four, five blocks. Now in the fourth pattern, I'll do the same thing. That is add two more, right? So if I add two more, I land up with 5 plus 2, which is 7, right? So I get 7 in my fourth pattern. As an exercise, what you need to do is find how many will be in the fifth pattern, how many will be in the sixth, and then how many in the seventh. Once you do that, you have to work out a rule so that you could immediately tell me how many should be in the 20th pattern. So that is a very critical thing. So I think some students can easily get to seven, but grade five and six students should be in a position to find the number of blocks in the 20th pattern. Now let's try to understand how we can get all this? Well, you can see that the numbers are growing by 2. So I could write here 9, 11, and 13. So in the seventh block, we have 13 squares, orange squares. How do we get 20th? For that, we have to analyze. Think like this. 1, 2, 3, 4. The fourth block has 4 times 2, but we took away 1. Do you see that? We took away 1. So in the fourth block, how many squares are there? In the fourth block, this is 4 times 2. Take away 1, which is 8 minus 1, and that gives us 7. Do you see that? So when you are adding by 2, we basically multiply by the number 2. You could see that this rule works, right? 
if I do 2 times 2, I get 4. Look here. In the second block, we have 4 minus 1. In the third pattern, we have 6 minus 1. And then, this pattern continues. So, in 20th pattern, what do you expect? We expect 20 times 2, double this 20 and take away 1, which is equal to 40 minus 1 or 39, 1 less than 40. Does it make sense to you, right? So that is how you can actually find the number of blocks in any pattern by finding a rule, right? So as an exercise, what you can try this time is, instead of adding two each, if we do three each, then what happens? If we do three each and continue the pattern, then what happens, right? So let that be an exercise for you. So make a table like this, write numbers one to seven. We will increase by three each time, not two. These numbers will be, 1 plus 3 is 4, 4 plus 3 is 7, plus 3 is 10, and so on. Predict the number of squares in the 7th and 20th pattern. Okay, so let this be the exercise. Now, let me take the second example with you. Now, this time, we are going to have slightly different pattern. However, we'll answer the same questions. That is to say... We'll make a table to record number of blocks in each pattern. We'll predict the number of blocks in 7th pattern. And we'll find the number of blocks in 20th pattern using a rule or a formula. Right? So this time, we'll begin with 1 and add 3 each time as shown here. When I say we want to make a table, then this is the kind of table we are making. So that is the table we want to make where we'll write pattern number first, pattern number, and in the second column, we will write number of blocks. To begin with, let's start with one again, right? So we'll start with pattern number one and which will have just one block. As we move along, we will add 3. So if I add 3, like this, let's say these are the 3 which have been added. Then in the second pattern, what do you notice? We have 1 plus 3, 4 blocks. Correct? Now, if I add 3 more and get the third pattern, then, how many blocks do I have? I have 6 plus 1, 7 blocks in the third pattern. Similarly, we could do 4th, 5th, 6th and 7th. And then, you have to predict how many could we have in the 20th pattern. Right? So, you could do this operation of adding 3 more each time. Right? So if you add 3 more, then 7 plus 3 will be 10. And then plus 3 will be 13. So from here, you could predict how many will be in 7. And once you've done that, the main idea is to predict how many should be in the 20th pattern. Did you get a rule for this? Can you write it down? Well... If we are adding the same number, you will notice that 2 times 3 is what? If you see this whole block, 2 are missing, right? So when we add 3, 2 are missing. So we have in a way taken away these two blocks, correct? So we multiply by 3 but take away 2. I hope you understand. If I do 4 times 3, you get 12. How do I get 10? By taking away 2. Do you see that? 5. 
5 times 3 is 15, but if I take away 2, I get 13. So, for the next one, it should be 6 times 3, take away 2. 6 times 3 is 18, and take away 2 is 18 minus 2, which is 16. So, we'll get a number 16 here. For 7th, it should be 7 times 3, which is 21. Take away 2, you get 19. Do you see that? So, that is how we get a rule. So, when you add 3 each time, it is as good as multiplying by 3. Then you have to see, how did we start? We started by taking away 2. Okay. So, here it should be 20 times 3, take away 2. You know, 20 times 3 is 60 and take away 2 is 58. So, that is how you can make a rule and then find the number of blocks in any pattern. Now, as an exercise, what you can do is, you can do the same exercise starting with two blocks. If you start with two blocks and then add three each time, what change will you notice? Well, we are taking away one, not two. That is the only difference. I hope with this, you get some idea of how to count the number of blocks in each pattern. Now, we'll take a few very interesting examples to further understand and explore this kind of patterns. Now, this time, we will have a very interesting pattern. As you see, we'll combine the orange squares with green triangles to form pattern. I have a pattern number four shown here. What you need to do is to develop this pattern and extend. We'll again go with the same steps. That is, we'll make a table to record the number of blocks in each pattern. We'll predict the number of blocks in seventh pattern. We'll find the number of blocks in 20th pattern using a rule or formula. Now, in this particular case, we are using two different types of blocks. So let me change the table which we have been using. So in this table now, we'll have one additional column to add for two different colors or two different types of blocks. So we'll call this the first column as pattern number. In the second, we are going to count the number of orange squares, right? So that count. In the third, we are going to count the number of green triangles, right? And in the fourth, we will write our total, correct? Okay? So we'll write total number of blocks in the next column. So let's begin. We'll begin from, let us say, just one of each kind. So in the first pattern, that is my pattern number one, let me write down in pattern number one, I have one orange block, one green block, and when we add these two, we get total of two. Next pattern, what we are going to do is that we are going to add an orange block and two green blocks, the triangles like this. Do you see that? So that is what we will do. Once you do that, then in pattern number two, which you can see now, how many orange blocks we have? We have two orange blocks, but we have three green. So, 2 plus 3 gives us 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, total number of blocks are 5. Let's do this operation once again. So, now again, we'll add 2 green and 1 orange. 2 green and 1 orange, right? So, once you add that, you see that in the third pattern, we have 3 orange blocks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That means 2 more than 3. 
5 green and in all 5 plus 3 8. So we'll continue this pattern. You have to predict how many orange blocks are there in the seventh block, how many green will be there in the seventh block and what is going to be the total. And then you have to predict the numbers in 20th pattern. So that is a test question for you, right? So then you have to predict in 20th pattern for orange blocks, green blocks and total. So let's try to work it out. As you can see, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3 match. So in 7, we expect to have 7 and in 20th, we'll have 20 orange blocks. Does it make sense to you? Yes, it does. Now, as far as the green is concerned, we started with 1 and then what happened? We added two each time right so we are adding two each time you learn that if you add the same number each time then it gets multiplied by two and then take away one two times two is four take away one gives you three two times three is six take away one is five so here what should i get i should get two times seven take away 1, which is 2 times 7 is 14, take away 1 is 13. And therefore, I should get 13 here. For the 20th block, I should get what number? I have to multiply 20 by 2 and then take away 1, which is 40 minus 1, which is 39. So I should get 39 here total you can add them up and get the total right so if you add them up 7 plus 13 is 20 9 plus 0 is 9 3 plus 2 is 5 59 is what you get for 20th block now as an exercise i would like you to understand how from 3 you can get 8 directly or from 7, how could you find 20 as a result? Well, as you can see, how many numbers are we adding here? 3 each time. Do you see that? 3 each time. So, 3 times 3 is 9. Take away 1. Okay. So, we get 7 times 3. Take away 1, which is 7 times 3 is 21. Take away 1 is 20. So, that is how you get 20. Do you understand? since we are adding 3 each time. And here in this particular case, we could do 20 times 3, take away 1, which is 60, take away 1, or 59, that matches. Do you see that? So I hope you understand and appreciate how adding the same number can be related with multiplying by that number and then taking away something else to match the number of blocks. That's the whole idea. So I like you to make new patterns just as I did. You can play around with these and learn number patterns. I hope you find it interesting and useful. Feel free to write your comments, share my videos, and if you subscribe to them, that will be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.